Okay, Kane, okay, congratulations. Uh, you like getting the job done quickly, but this this went distance today. Yeah. Uh, you got the win. Tell us how you're feeling. Yeah, I'm feeling ecstatic. You know, this has been a long time coming. Obviously, I took a controversial loss, split decision loss here. So for me, it's a better rep. Um, you know, I had to come and get it back. So I'm glad I came in. I fought a good, a very strong opponent. What people don't understand is this man is a very tough, weathered, strong, conditioned opponent. He's done five five minute rounds in other, in other uh, um, you know, shows and. It was good for me to be able to come in and have a dominant um, performance over him. And um, talk to us about that split decision tonight. Both men thought they won the fight. Uh, how did you feel when your hand got raised? Do you agree? Yeah, yeah listen, more than agree. I feel like the, the judge that scored it, uh, what was it, 30, 27, I think he, he was watching a different fight. Look, I was totally dominant throughout that, throughout that fight. I took the fight wherever I wanted to take it. I was beating him on the feet in the exchanges. I rocked him, I dropped him. You know, I, um, I, I was dominant in that fight. So for me, it was it should have been a unanimous decision. Lenny? Hey, Kane Moussa, how's it going? Hey, it's all good right now because we've got that win. How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Yeah, I can't help but notice when looking at you, your eye looks a bit busted up. Could you tell us like, the injury status on that? Yeah, so uh, it's, it's just obviously just a... A bust eye. There's nothing, nothing major with it. They've said uh, he hit me with that. I think it was in the first round, and it wasn't necessarily the the power in the shot. It was just where it actually landed. It landed like it kind of pushed the socket back, and it, it dazed me. Well, it just blurred me for a second. So if you watch the fight back, it hit me. I had to uh, get adjust myself for seeing him coming at me, and that's when I engaged in the in the clinch. And then obviously, I think it went to the floor from there. I felt that I was stronger than him on the floor, so. I just said, look, let's get the job done. Let's get the win. So that's why I took it from them and, and took him down and controlled him. And most importantly, that eye is okay. Yeah, that eye is fine. Yeah, perfect. Glad to hear that. So when we won, before the fight, you said you were aiming for a finish. Unfortunately, you didn't, that didn't come tonight. But you're still impressed with your performance out there tonight. Yeah, I was really impressed. Look, I've not been in the cage since the last time I fought here, which is a long while ago. And... Obviously, I'm not used to losing and I lost a split decision then. So for me, you know, there's a lot of pressure. I put a lot of pressure on myself because, I'm, you know, I'm a really dedicated man to my craft. I've been competing in MMA since I was 18 years of age. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not young no more. So um, it, it means a lot to me to get to get the win back, to get back to winning ways, to demonstrate to everyone that I'm a serious contender. And I'm someone to be taken serious. I'm Kane Danger Musa. So I showed that tonight and I'm happy with it. Yeah, well, congratulations on the win and uh, well done for putting a Manchester top team on the map for Bellator. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Santiago? First of all, Kane, what a ridiculous decision. That 30-27 scorecards is just wrong, man. Well, I want to get to some positive stuff. That was a beautiful performance. Striking, Thank grappling, you. ground and pound. You did it all tonight. And Bellator has a pretty stacked, lightweight division. Are there any names that you have in mind for your next fight? And how soon would you like to return to the Bellator cage? Well, look, I'll fight anybody whose who, who's, who's, who's name's ringing out. You know, I've, I've never shied from calling out opponents. And at this present moment, I haven't got my mind, my, my eyes on anyone in particular, just because, like you said, the lightweight division's so stacked. So anyone who's ringing bells, anyone who's, who's making, making noise in the division, match me up and we'll go with it. Let me obviously get my eyes sorted out and find out exactly how long until it's going to be right for me to compete again. But, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a competitor, so... Get me straight back in there ASAP against anyone, really. Let's go. There's something really special going on at Manchester Top Team. Please tell me how important the team is for you. Oh, the team's everything for me. Look, we've got a team for, you know, more than anything, it's about the youngsters. You know, I get, I get emotional about this because we've got a lot of youngsters that are in our, in our gym that are looking up to myself, people like Lerone. To demonstrate that we can do at the highest level. Look, I'm fighting for Bellator. Yeah, one of you know the biggest organization in MMA, and I'm in here demonstrating and I'm having dominant performances. So it's just for me to be able to demonstrate to the younger generation that they can make a living out of this sport, and this sport's the best sport in the world. So Manchester Top Team's a great team, and trust me, we've got a lot of prospects coming up. And the last thing for me, what would it mean to you, Kane, if Bellator would come to Manchester next year? Do you think this will be a huge success? Look, Santiago, we already we spoke about this already and I've said this. Listen, Bellator, please come to Manchester. 
when all this when all this craziness is done, please come to Manchester and let me let the Mancunians show you how we put on an event and we'll make sure everybody turns up to that event to come and support me, myself and whoever else from Manchester, all Manchester top team that's on the card. Great. Thank you very much for the time, Kane, and congratulations. Thank you very much, guys. See you later.